So I've been involved with creativity and the creative process for pretty much my whole life. And for my entire adult life, my job has been to look at an empty notebook, a blank page, or an empty stage, and then just out of my head make something up. And that really is how I've made my living for the past 20 years. Now, when I first started working on presentations about creativity, my father was visiting us in Montreal. Now, my dad is an amazing, intelligent person. He is a professor of microeconomics at Queen's University. He's written tons of books, and he speaks and he lectures all the time. So I thought, what a great person to show this to. So I showed him a few of my very first ideas. And he said, Now, David, and he speaks very slowly and with purpose. I think it's very important that you tell the people at the beginning of your talk that while you've made some songs, you're not a scientist. <laughs> and that totally freaked me out. And I spent the rest of the day thinking, oh my God, I'm not a scientist. What have I gotten myself into? But it also sparked something in me, because although creativity is not a pure and perfect science, it's not just magic either. And there really is almost a scientific formula to it. Creativity is a learnable skill in that any person or company can learn to be more creative. There are no non-creative people. I was in Heathrow Airport the other day, and a woman came running up to me, and she said, David, I just love that song, St. Lawrence River. So we got into this long conversation about the song. Smells on the air, see there it's crushing the final impression Stays on the paper where well, words fell like water Unearth all the changes that never did matter I think it's beginning to freeze here Caught in the rage and the fire of things, all oh, the brightness that burns me Fumbling through like a child in the dark When the nakedness comes I am shocked by the color The glorious way your skin comes alive And I never thought we'd make it back so soon Might be nice But I knew you'd be your own destroyer Comes a time and I never thought I'd make it up to you. So we chatted for a bit. And in the conversation, she said those words that I hear all the time. She said, I'd love to do something like that, but I'm just not creative. And while I'm flattered, that statement drives me absolutely crazy because the statement, I'm not creative, implies that creativity is something that you're born with or you're not. Like I sit down at the, at the piano, I crack open a bottle of whiskey, and then I just wait for divine intervention to come and whack me across the head. And then the songs come popping out fully formed, like popcorn or bubbles. And while I wish that was true, the reality is that 95% of the creative process is discipline and work, and just 5% is inspiration and you never get to the 5% that you desperately want and need unless you do the 95% that's work. I spent a year every day working on the song St. Lawrence River. I probably wrote 30 different choruses for it before I found the right one to record. Now, I'm not suggesting that everyone is going to go off and write hit songs or become Picasso, and I probably will never be the next Steve Jobs. But I really do believe that every single person has the capacity within them to be much more creative. 